Now the wrist escapes of jiu-jitsu, how to defend when your opponent's grabbing you. This is uh, great for self-defense. Also works for people who are doing jiu-jitsu tournaments, like Brazilian jiu-jitsu style, as people are trying to make grips on your gi and stuff and grips on your wrist. This also works for that. So the first escape, my opponent's here. I take my hand and I twist it. So the small part of my wrist escapes through his fingers. The second one, he has a cross grip on me. When he has the cross grip, I turn my arm in and I take my hand here, the sharp part of my hand like this, and I push down on his wrist. I don't try to lift his arm up. Ed's real strong, so he, don't let me like, Ugh, I can't lift his arm up. I just drop my elbow down and I can escape real easy. All leverage. Two against one is excellent for me because you have to think these grabs, they don't hurt. If he had one hand on me, I'm not worried about this grab because I'm, it can't, he can't hurt me when he's grabbing. It helps me. That's what I'm worried about is him punching me in the face. So when I'm doing these escapes, I'm aware of that hand. He's grabbing here, punch me. I'm aware of that hand. So when he has two hands, it's great. He can't hurt me now. So if I need to knee him or kick him and then I make my escape, I can do it. Notice when I do this escape, I actually cross his arms for a second and trap his arms so I can come in with strikes. The last one is a two against one. Great for me because he has two hands, he can't block strikes coming at him. But if they do grab you like this, you could grab your fist and go into them with an elbow or you can make the circle. We'll do all of them real quick, four.